This video was intended to inform and educate the public. Alexandria Police Department. It's Paul, right? Paul. Paul, can we talk to you? Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another video news story here on the Junkyard News. And in today's video news story, we have a story coming out of the city of Alexandria, Virginia, where the city and the local police are now giving us a look at what happened on a welfare check that didn't quite work out the way everybody was hoping. The Alexandria Police Department has released body-worn camera footage where the police interacted with Paul Behan Jr. in a stairwell outside his apartment back on August 12th. The footage follows police responding to Behan's apartment for a welfare check after a co-worker had called police and warned that he was armed and experiencing a mental health crisis following trouble at work. Alexandria City Police and Fire, how can I help you? Yes, I want to get the number to call. I have a co-worker, a friend, who's um, talking about taking tonight, and he lives in Alexandria. In response to the 911 call, two officers and one supervisor were dispatched to 5101 Maris Avenue. The 911 caller stayed on the line with emergency communications personnel for several minutes, providing additional details as officers responded. The caller reported the following notable details. I, I called him. Well, we, you know, I've talked with him because, again, there was an incident at work yesterday and, you know, he was suspended and I guess he's kind of, you know, feeling bad about maybe losing his job and some other stuff. But um, you know, he, and he and the wife, you know, they've been separated. So he's got some other issues going on in his life. You, you called him first? How did the conversation I initiate? called him tonight because another co-worker called me and asked me to give him a call because he had said he was going to off himself tonight. Okay, and what did he actually say? Well, he said he's going to... He's going to he said by tomorrow he's going to, he's not going to be here. And I keep trying to ask him, look, you know, can you just wait? Let me come over. Have, have you ever seen him with a gun, or you just know of him having one? He, he, you know, he's an NRA member, and uh, I know he has a a nine millimeter a millimeter carbine for sure because he, he I have the same weapon, and he had uh, when I had mine, he went out and purchased that one, and I think he has at least a. Um, I don't know if it's a handgun. I know one one handgun. Is that a nine millimeter? That's a nine millimeter, right? But I know he has a, a Beretta CX five. I think it is. That's a, a nine millimeter carbine. He's at home, right? And he is under the influence of alcohol. I know because he he was slurring, and you know he he said he went and bought I uh, guess a bunch of alcohol and, and got some food, and so he is somewhat probably inebriated. Ugh. This will not end well. You see, Ben was a lead technician at a hospital in D.C. Now, the video is going to show that police asking Ben to answer his door to make sure that he's not armed and that they wanted just to speak with him to make sure he was okay. While Ben said he was not armed, he did delay opening the door. And when the door opened, he was holding a rifle to his head. Police spent several minutes trying to talk to Ben and convince him to put it away Police officers repeatedly begged him to put the gun down, put it away, and they just want to talk to him. They even retreated away from the exterior of the apartment's door, back to the outside entrance of the apartment complex, talking to Behan the whole time. After a while, it seems Behan sat down in the stairwell, with the firearm still pointed in a direction, not towards officers, but towards himself. And after some time of trying to talk him down, Police outside lit up the man with a spotlight so they could better see him and the stairwell. Don't do it. Let's just talk. We got to find out why. I know there are so many reasons for you to live. Paul, we're doing this just for safety reasons. No, Paul, I'm looking at you because I want to talk to you and I want to know what happened and what brought you here tonight. That did not go so well with Behan. And at one point, Behan claims that if they don't shut that light off, he's going to shoot it out. But we can just talk about it. 
Paul, uh, like Paul, for... don't, I'm sorry. We're not doing it to upset you. We're doing it just for our safety. And I know you keep looking up and you said you don't want to hurt anyone. But you know, when you, you when you pray, no. Okay, I'm going to talk to him in a second. But you said that you don't want to hurt anyone. But you pointed your gun upward. There's so many innocent people there. Paul, you said you don't want to hurt anyone. But there's so many innocent people in this building. Paul, don't do that. Paul? Paul, Paul. Now the body cam video that was released because of personal barriers or the corner of the building where the police are behind doesn't show the moment police claim that he raised his rifle in their direction but you do hear the shots In Behan's obituary, it describes his love of machines, including fixing cars, riding dirt bikes, jet skis, and more. Behan's neighbors recalled that he was a very friendly presence in the community, offering car advice as well as health advice to anybody that asked. Thank you again for tuning in to this episode of the Junkyard News. Be careful, people. Be careful what you tell others. Or one of these days, the next video we cover on this channel, we may be talking about an incident involving you in the future. Thanks again. Videos uploaded by the Junkyard News are helped in part by viewers just like you. You can show your support for this channel by clicking the thumbs up, sharing our videos, or hitting that all-important support button on our channel page. Don't want to miss a video or a story? Make sure to check us out and like us on Facebook at the Junkyard News. Following the shooting, officers approached Mr. Behan to take him into custody. His firearm was positioned beneath his body, so the officers first placed him in handcuffs and then secured the firearm, moving it to a safe location. The firearm was identified as a 9mm Beretta Storm with one round in the chamber. Here are still images of Mr. Behan's firearm, magazine, and ammunition. After taking Mr. Behan into custody, officers immediately called for the on-scene medics to respond. Medics arrived and subsequently pronounced Mr. Behan at 11.36 p.m. There were no injuries to officers or other community members as a result of this incident. The Northern Virginia Critical Incident Response Team, or CERT, was contacted and assumed control of the scene and investigation. CERT is responsible for conducting a thorough and impartial investigation and will present their findings to the Alexandria Commonwealth Attorney's Office, who will determine the lawfulness of law enforcement's actions. After the Commonwealth Attorney's review, the case will undergo further investigation, including an administrative review by the Alexandria Police Department's Office of Professional Responsibility to ensure compliance with department and city policies. This video was intended to inform and educate the public.